Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Donnie and I wanted to hop on here real quick and do this unboxing of this diamond painting. This is an older one from Star Roar. Um, I can tell it's older because her she doesn't have her logo on here and it doesn't have the star, the difficulty star rating on it. Um, this one I got on Amazon for $9.99. I don't know if she's uh, clearancing it out or what, but it is um just i wanted to get it just in time for uh uh drills and chills 2021 so i'm gonna do one for the holiday i don't know i don't enter any of the contests or whatever i just do like to do one a halloween themed diamond painting during halloween and tag it with drills and chills so that i feel like i'm a part of it but anyway this one is called funky skull halloween and Here's what it looks like in a bigger image. It is a 30 by 40. It says 34 by 45, 35 by 45, but that is the the uh, canvas size. The drilling area is 30 by 40. There are 25 colors, and it is a, a full rhinestone. So I got this on Amazon Prime. It took two days to get here, and as always, I love Star Roar, so let's show you what these kits come with okay if i can i think i'm gonna get this kitted up tonight and you know that way i'll have it ready for when drills and chills starts or i just might start it now i don't know but i've only got one diamond painting that i'm really doing right now so i don't feel right unless i've got at least two kitted up i'd say so here is the inventory sheet that it comes with. This is super convenient because I can just take it over to my printer, make a copy of it, and run it through my Xyron printer uh, sticker maker. Um, I might blow it up just a little bit because these symbols are a little small on here. But as you can see, the drill number has, you know, different numbers. It's 2, 5, 8, 10 etc. That's because those are the crystal numbers. Um, there is a document that I put in my Facebook group that you can go look at that actually gives you the DMC equivalent to these um, crystal numbers. Um, but the symbols on the, the canvas are going to be very easy to recognize. They're all letters and numbers, lowercase and uppercase but there's 25 in total and they tell you how many diamonds you're going to need in each color so you're going to need 15,194 and they have provided 19,761 so the rest of this pamphlet is you know got your basic information in it tells you how to diamond paint and this is cool because this one actually tells you the um the instructions using the rhinestones which are full crystal and it gives you all the instructions and what to do and how to label your bags so pretty simple very convenient key that they give you outside of the diamond painting here's the diamond painting and it does have a they it's, she calls it it's a cotton canvas so it's a nice soft material it does have surged edges so that it won't fray and you get your lovely uh, la 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 the release papers word didn't want to come to me they're kind of hard to flatten out so uh, they're best if you put them under something extremely heavy to make them flat I don't even remember where I put my last ones but I put them somewhere to flatten and now I don't remember where I put them. <laughs> don't do that. Okay, so they give you enough of those to cover the entire image. I'll just show you. They're wa a waxy material, but uh, they're not. It's not wax paper. I can guarantee you, because wax paper is a big no-no to use on your diamond paintings. It will stick. Um, but this stuff is specifically made, and if you ever want to get extras I do carry release pages in my shop 
And that link is down below, drillpenfrenzy.com. Really easy to remember, Drill Pen Frenzy. All right, and let's look at the toolkit right here. This is one of the best toolkits you'll ever receive in a, with a diamond painting. Okay, so it comes in this reusable little zipper pouch. You get a MOSFA tray. Some of them don't say MOSFA, but we all know them as MOSFA trays. It's basically just the, a tray that's this specific size. It's bigger than the green boats, and it's bigger than a lot of the little white trays that you can get with kits. And then you get a pair of these wonderful scoop tweezers. I'm going to do it like this so you can see. That are great for rounds. And they're awesome for picking things off of your canvas when they get stuck. Like drill, I mean, picking drills off when you, they get stuck. Not so much for um, picking out like wax and stuff or something that's stuck in the glue. You want to use the pointy ones for that, but I love these. And if you want extras, I do carry these in my store as well in several different colors. The link is down below. We also have a drill pen with a um, comfort grip, squishy and a brass tipped pen. We also have a bag full of baggies that has the white strip on it for you to mark on. These are wonderful. And, and she gives you exact amount that you need for the kit. So there will be 25 bags in total, counting the bag that these are inside of. So there's 24 inside and then the one outside. And then we have a few useful things here. We have the thin placers. This one's a four placer. And this one is seven placer. And this is a row straightener. And all you do with these is you stick them on the other end of your pen. And whether you, whatever you're using the most of, but um, the pens that we sell in our shop, the hand, hand turn pens, you can also use them on those. And you can use them on the polymer clay pins that people sell. I don't do polymer clay, but that's all you do. And same with the multi-placers, you just stick it in the end of your pen. Some, some of my pens are um, have a, two different multi-placers on each side so that I have every multi-placer possible available to me to use at whatever I'm in the mood for. And then you get a Oh, a pad of blue wax for sticking your drills onto your diamond painting. Now it's heart shaped and I do carry this in my store as well as the regular red heart wax. And I have many other heart wax colors now and or other not heart waxes. So I have lots of colors. Some people swear by one color over another and but I've had 99% positive feedback on the wax that I carry. All right, so there's our toolkit. Now let's look at the canvas and then we'll look at the shiny rhinestone drills that came with it. And what attracted me to it is, you know, the fact that it was all rhinestone. And sometimes I just like to work on a small diamond painting. And this is a small to me this is like an in-between project because it's only a 30 by 40 and the one I'm working on right now is a lot bigger it's huge it's so I think it'll be my biggest one yet I'm but I'm working on it a little bit at a time so this is poured glue as you can see here and the sticky I don't know I saw someone in a one of the reviews complain about that it wasn't sticky but just one person I don't have any issues with the stickiness of this canvas. These are, I've worked on several of her kits and this glue is good and I don't, I've never had issues, so I don't know what they were complaining about, but it, it's poured glue, as you can see from the, uh, most, <laughs> um, there's a 99% of all diamond paintings that come with this cover with a clear cover on it is going to be poured glue. There is one company I know of that has 
a double-sided adhesive type cover that, um, I don't know, some say it is poured glue, but it's it works just like the um, double-sided adhesive where the cover ends right where the sticky ends. And when that happens, normally it's because it comes on a roll and you stick it on and then the cover is what you pull back to diamond paint. And this is done in a totally different manner. They pour the glue out and they spread it across the diamond painting. It dries and then they place the, the, the transparent covering over it so that you can see what is underneath. And some people don't like this type of cover. And that's why she supplies the release pages for people to replace it with. So let's take a look at what we got here. We've got a skeleton with a halo of roses. So it looks really neon, neon colorish in the, the, the bones. And I'm curious what color, which one that it's going to be number A03, which is eight. I'm not sure what color that is, but 25 different colors. You've got very little color blocking in this, but you do have some here in the guitar. You're going to get some color blocking around in here. You get some little spots that you're going to be able to use a multi-placer here on the guitar. Um, on the bones themselves, you've got some spots where you're going to be able to use like a, a six-placer. And you can even use bigger numbers. Some of these have more in a row than that, especially like right here, down here on that spot. On the hand, his face has a few as well. And then the background has a little bit of blocked colors over in this corner, a little bit on this side. Um, uh, you know, it's sparingly going through here. You've got a little bit, but it's mixed with the purples and blues. Same with the rest of the background. The rest is very much confettied, but it's not really bad confetti, again, because it only has 25 colors. So this is the image, and it is a very Halloween image to me. You know, it screams either that or it screams um, Day of the Dead. So, but Day of the Dead stuff can also be used for Halloween because it's a skeleton, and the first thing that skeletons are associated with here in America would be Halloween. Or death, of course, but I mean holidays. So let's look at these drills. I'm going to just flip this over so we can see the color of the drills a little bit better. And I'll zoom you in so you can get a better look. All right. So let me, I can't say yet because I don't have it open. I'm looking at not the first, not looking at the first color. So I can't figure things out until I have all the information, but what it looks like here, okay, this, the colors go backwards, like it starts on the right, like you would be reading a book in China, how things start on the right and you go left. I think that's how it works. I don't remember, but eh. uh, so the first color, A01, is the one on the right. And it says two next to it. And I believe that's what this said. Right. Okay. So drill, the crystal number is two. So that's what this number is going to be right here. This one right here, the two, is your crystal number. And the AO1 is the number on the canvas. And the rest of this is just the identifier for the which diamond painting it is. So, I'm going to do it from this side because we can see the colors a little better. That kind of looks like a blood red. Really pretty. And then we got a pink and then a magenta. So, this color looks to be like the one that was the, yeah, this is the bone, color of the bones. So, that's going to be interesting. You know, a very pink skeleton. So there's a lot of pinks in it, but yeah, very pink. And then we have another pink here. Just checking to see if any of these, well, 
the thing about these canvases, is, let's see, right here we'll know, because they give you a checklist. And this is kind of like the page, that, the inventory page that you get with some diamond paintings. It just tells you how many packages of each color you're going to have. So everything only has one. So then I'm not going to be thinking that any of those have two bags and I have to relook at it. So yeah, everything only has one bag. All right, so we were here with the pinks and more pinks, some more pinks. <laughs> And then we got a silver, a green, oh, beautiful blue. And then another, this is kind of a purplish color, really light purple right here. And then we're, the purple's getting a little darker as we go down to this color. It's kind of really hard to see because of the glare. And another purple color. Let's see if I can get any closer. It will focus. All right, so yeah, there's another purple, another purple. So we're still in purples. It's kind of hard to see with all of the butts, the bottoms flipped over. It kind of takes over the color, but. There, you can see a little bit. Lots of really pretty purples. This one, see, purples are getting darker. Look at that one. You can see better at the top here. And then we have a, looks like a, like a sapphire blue. That's a really dark blue there. Pretty though. And look, more pinks or magenta, if you want to call that color. And another bag, another color there. Oh yeah, you can see it if I tilt it like that. You can see the color better. Yeah. Okay, so, and then we have more silvers. And this one's, uh, looks like the same color. They're not though. They're supposed to be two different colors, but, uh, I think it's supposed to be like a smoke color champagne maybe it's really hard to see it there let's see my phone's trying to focus but i'm zoomed in so it's a little hard for it to anyway that's So yeah, this is like a champagne, very pale, pale, pinkish kind of color. And this looks silver too, but no, it's another, this is more of a gray. Sorry, I have to get really close to see what color it is. So this is more of a gray rhinestone, really light. And then this one is another, I think another gray. It looks like another gray, kind of smoky black. It's a little darker than the first one. And, oh yeah, here's another bag. Oh wow, look at that. This one's a little darker champagne type color. And then we got another really, really deep purple here. And we do have two bags of this, the black. It doesn't say, I didn't see any twos on here. Because black is 93. And it's not, oh, here it is. But it says only one bag, one package. So that's strange. Okay. Yes, there's actually two bags. So there might be other ones in here that have two bags. <laughs> I don't know, because I wasn't looking at the numbers. Like this pink. Oh, that's only one. Anyway, it, that doesn't really matter. I don't think me it doesn't matter but I just wanted to give you the correct information I didn't want to tell you something that wasn't right so what did we start we saw okay yeah we had more pink pinkish like rose gold is what this one 
looks like right here. And this is a very pretty purple, like a royal purple, two bags of black. And this is, this is a rhinestone black. It's not your normal, typical um, black. But if you ran out, you could use just your 310 drills. I don't know what the difference would be because they look just like 310s. And this is like a gold, kind of a goldish color. Yeah, ta topaz gold. And this one's another like goldish yellow color. So if you like rhinestones like I do, the, you're going to love this one because this is, you know, it, well, the image kind of matters too, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, these are some really pretty drills. The colors, I mean, the, the diamond painting is very pink. So, there, but there's still, there's still blue and green in here as well. There's some blue and green, pink, purple, gold, gray, you name it. It's got a lot of different colors. So, I think this would be fun to do. And I look forward to kitting it up and starting on it. And that would be it for this unboxing I wanted to make it quick but you know 22 minutes later and here I am still recording but that's because I like to show as much detail on a diamond painting as possible so that you get all the information before you buy something so you know the full what you're getting getting yourself into before you buy so I hope this video has helped somebody and and I hope you've enjoyed it I will see you guys in my next video. So have fun diamond painting. And don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.